We've been working for many years on Infinity War and Endgame and Spider-Man Far From Home. Those were the films that were culminating the entire Infinity Saga of the MCU. And as we were working on Endgame, we realized that the true end of the entire Infinity Saga, the final film of Phase 3, had to be Spider-Man Far From Home because, spoiler, we lose Tony Stark at the end of Endgame. And the relationship between Peter Parker and Tony Stark is so special over the five films that Tom Holland has portrayed Spider-Man in the MCU that we needed to see where his journey went and see how does Spider-Man step out of the shadow of his mentor, Tony Stark, and become the true hero that he was always meant to be. And it's for that reason that Endgame and Spider-Man Far From Home are two, essentially two pieces of the same story. And it's not over yet until Spider-Man Far From Home. Kevin Feige officially titles Phase 1 through 3 as the Infinity Saga will conclude with Avengers Endgame next month. While speaking with Empire Magazine for the massive Avengers Endgame issue, Marvel Studio head Kevin Feige had revealed that the first three phases of the Marvel Cinematic Universe will now be referred to as the Infinity Saga, a potential nod to the Infinity Stones and the Infinity Gauntlet, becoming one of the main cusps of the phases. Title isn't a red herring. This truly will be the end of what Feige is calling the Infinity Saga. We wanted to bring to a conclusion a series of movies in a way that had never been done before, said Feige. Avengers Endgame will close out Phase 3 on April the 26th with Spider-Man. Far From Home launching Phase 4 on July 5th. Joining Far From Home in Phase 4 includes Black Widow, The Eternals, Shane Shi, Doctor Strange 2, and Black Panther 2. It remains to be seen what Fox characters would join the Phase 4, but there have been early talks between Kevin Feige and Adam McKay, the big shot, Vice, about Silver Surfer along with Feige recently meeting with Noah Hawkley, Legion, Far From Home, Lucy in the Sky, about his Doctor Doom project. Ryan Reynolds, Deadpool is now confirmed as being the only carryover X-Men character to join the MCU. But there is a good chance that other Deadpool characters from these movies might make a jump eventually. As we learn more about their plans for the merch with a mouth. The main X-Men team are expected to get a hard reboot and complete recasting mainly because the singular verse took many character stories continuity liberties with the characters to the point that heroes like rogue storm cyclops and others aren't even recognizable to their comic book counterparts it sounds like there's a good chance that kevin feige could attempt to move forward with deadpool sequel such as Drew Goddard, X-Force, and Deadpool 3, being penned by Rhett Reese and Paul Rednick. Disney, Bob Iger, and Alan Horn have previously suggested that the Deadpool movies will stay R-rated and could be distributed by 20th Century Fox to remove Disney from the more mature material. Kevin Feige had mentioned before that he hopes to announce their future plans and the upcoming film state after the release of Avengers Endgame. Normally that sort of announcement they plan their plans for a phase but because of spoilers nature of Endgame and possibly ending the tincture of certain characters they have, any light, they have likely wanted to give audience a chance to see the film first. The grave course of events set in motion by Thanos that wipes out half the universe and fracture the Avengers rank 
compels the remaining Avengers to take one final stand in Marvel Studios' grand conclusion to 22 films Avengers Endgame.